Sometimes the system logs are enough to troubleshoot an issue, but more often you would require to add your own custom application logs. Let's see in this video how to do it. So just to recap a bit, through Service Center and our systems, you have access to this monitoring tab where a lot of logs are automatically captured in the system. But beyond that, in case you want to add your own application log, let's see in this video how to do it. So for that, I'm switching over to my Service Studio where I have a reactive web application with one entity called Customer. Let me quickly create the Customer Listing and Detail Crates. These are the usuals that I create often for listing and details. Now with this one drag and drop platform has helped me by creating a listing screen and also a detail screen. Now imagine as per the requirements for the application, I may want to log how many customers are being created every day. For that, I may have to create my own custom log. To achieve this, I'll go inside the logic of the save button. This would be the right place to store. Once after the customer is created, I can add my custom log. So in this case of our systems, you can see how I can even use the ASL development. Just click on it, look for log message. So there's, there are two actually. One is this client action uh, represented by this hollow icon. I can use it and it can allow me to log a message. So here uh, to form my message, I can access the details on the page. For example, the customer name. I can form my own message was updated, done. And the model name, I can name it the sample app, same as my application name. I can also do this at the server side. So let's say I have a server action here. That would be a new action. If I go inside, there also we have a server side log message represented by this full icon. Okay, and pretty much works the same way from server side and I'll put it in the sample app. Same as the other one. Uh, more often than not, you will also find this log message handy when you are doing expression handling. Just drag and drop, choose the exception that you want and it's quite handy to put a log message there. Once you add it, you can use it to log the exception. By default, platform is already picking it up but in case you require more details, you can also browse to it and see what the message is and access more parameters and I can put them in the sample app module. And that's it. Let's go ahead and publish the app. That's the way you use uh, the log message function to add your own custom log to the R systems logs. So we'll just wait for it to publish. Done. How about we launch it? Log in. And here I have the listing page with list of the customers. And if I open any of these customers, as you saw me, my logic is here. If I click on the save, the log should be captured. Let's click on save. And we go back to our monitoring here. And how about we filter by sample app? That's the one, filter. And there is a error. So some log is required, some access permission is required. But if I go to general, for example, I can see my custom logs. That's a casual limited was updated. That's the one I think I updated the first one. So it shows there. Second one was for the server side. And in case we are doing some more stuff, platform also showed me a bit more things about this application. But these two were the one that I added the, from the client side and from the server side. The one from the exception handler will not get triggered until unless there is an exception. Thank you for watching.